Hello, hello, we are back here in the goalie be a pro where apparently we're a rebel. I don't know how we got labeled with that, but it's not the worst thing in the world, I guess. Our teammate likability is way up there. Management is not bad. Our brand, however, is kind of in the dumps. However, I would beg to differ considering we have 5 million social media followers. I don't know, to me that sounds like the brand's doing all right, but anyway, it is time to be a rookie. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what this is. I don't know if the James thing is still here. We get called a rookie every year, basically in the running for the Calder for the first eight years of your career. Also, with a 901 save percentage at 91 overall, I feel like I haven't been being a pro. So, it is very fitting in that way as well. Here is the squadron. We've got Johnny playing with Kent and Karel the Thrill. And then our second line is, you know, it's okay, I guess. Drake Batherson coming back from an injury. We do got Patrice, which is huge. 82 overall, no abilities left to his name. Still an absolute legend in the face-off dot. Blake Wheeler's all the way down to 80 overall as well. Defensively, we've got David, and that's basically it. I mean, Boakvist is worth mentioning as well. And, but of course, we do have Scotty Sterling as the starting goaltender backed up by Joel, who has been playing much more like a starter than I have. We got a divisional opponent here in the Pity Pens. Let's see if this game is worth jumping into or if it's going to be a blowout in either direction. Yes! We scored on the first shot this time! If we kill this off, wow. What an unbelievable start from the lads. You love to see it. Patrice just adds to the tally because he can. Okay, 3-0, Boakfist gives us a even more comfortable lead. Our team is out shooting them. We also just killed another penalty, so Pittsburgh can't get anything going right now. I'm loving this. Our team's record is good. I think we were, what, eighth in the league? So, although the roster doesn't look incredible, getting the job done, evidently. After a scoreless second, I think. I'm pretty sure it was 3 nothing after the first. Anyway, we score in the fourth. Archibald buries one. 5 nothing. Could this be it? Could this be the shutty? Oh, yeah. There we go. 20 seconds left. And we get... The massive goose egg. Still not even one of the three stars because our offense went off. Well, I guess so did our defense because Boakvist is up there. What's up, Johnny? How does the history museum sound, honestly? Kind of interesting. Are we going to learn about the Roman Empire? Oh dear. We moved up to fourth with that win, but our next game is against the team that is currently first in the entire league. Okay, we actually got bumped down to fifth during that simulation, but... Wow, they're way ahead, actually. This is the kind of team that's gonna score on the first shot. Because it's just, you know, the way she goes. They didn't! We're off to a wonderful start. Also had the longest power play of all time. Couldn't score, but then Patrice, in poetic fashion, scores on his former team to give Columbus the one nothing lead. Here we go. Are we good or what? Ah, oh, Duclair gets one back, cuts the lead in half. That's all right. It's fine. I trust you guys. Shots are 15-12, so that's even. Score, not exactly even, but definitely very close. No team is running away with it here. We're being outshot now, but it doesn't matter because we just buried two more. Not even one, two. It is a three-goal lead for the Jackets that are blue. I'm simming the whole third period. There's no point jumping into this one. Ah, boom. What a game. At this rate, I might not even get to play. I might just be simming for dominating this much. Buffalo is 14th in the league. So obviously they should be an easier win than the team that was currently in first, the Bruins. So naturally, we're probably going to get lit up. So far, so good. Looking like a goalless first period. Yup. Goaltenders duel up till this point. Kind of a defensive duel, actually, because the shots are relatively low as well. And here we go again. The floodgates have been opened. Archibald gives us a 3-0 lead. Levi is unfortunately having a collapse of a second period. I'll just sim the whole thing. 5-1 again. Are you not entertained? I seriously can't believe how well we're doing right now. It's got a spiral out of control. You know what, Connor Stone? You're on to something here. Divisional matchups are important. I am not promising. I'm going to do everything in my power to avoid that. They're right on us as well. I think 
probably only one point separates us if, you know, doing the quick maths there. AKA, we have the same amount of wins and we have one more overtime loss, so... Pretty easy math, but let's see if the Isles will give us a run for our money. We get a shorthanded goal from Johnny Goudreau, the penalty killer. I don't know how I feel about that one. Right now, it looks like a great decision. So I'll allow it, but bold strategy. Bo Horvat gets one right before the first comes to an end. It is a 1-1 hockey game. So unless either team just starts going off, which is possible, John Tavares returned to the Islanders. Yeah, right. Lekin and Barry's one. It is 3-1. Can we get one? Bring this back to a one-goal game. Another shorty? That's insanity. We scored two goals this game, and they were both shorthanded. All right, yeah, we'll jump into this one. Likely not going to be a comeback, but it's worth a try. You know what I'm saying? The Islanders also have Nikita Kucherov, so I'm not sure how they pulled that one off, but they did. So props to their GM for making some money moves. I swear I turned tethering off. I'm gonna have to go do it again, aren't I? All right, well, let's get the puck out here. Thank you, Johnson. Speaking of Kucherov, here he comes. He's in over the line, gets it to Barzal. So they didn't have to give up Barzal. He's still on the team. They've got Tavares back. Picked up Kucherov, Pelik, Sorokin in net. I see why they're doing well. Nice try. If I'm gonna keep it real with you, I don't know how our team's doing well. <laughs> I mean, we have Johnny. And we have one defenseman that's pretty solid, but other than that, I don't get it. Sure, we have a 91 overall goalie, but see? 91 doesn't mean anything. Thank you, David, for getting in the way of what was surely to be a goal. We need two goals here. Five minutes done. We are a quarter of the way through this third period. But you know what? We've had a few good chances so far. So have the Islanders. To be fair, so hasn't been a one-sided battle. Burakovsky and Kuznetsov reuniting the Capitals. I don't understand how this whole team has changed. But they didn't get rid of Sorokin or Barzal. Or Pelik. They also have Anthony Manta. Another Capitals legend. What's going on? Let's go. What an effort from Patrice. Gets the puck deep. He's got three people on him. Battles here, and then... <laughs> I think that was an own goal, actually. I don't think it was him hitting whoever 2-8 is. I'm pretty sure he went for a pass, and it just... We're down by one. Risky pass. Very risky. Oh my word, we're all over them. We have to score, I was gonna say. Like, it's just a matter of time. It's not, are we scoring? It's, when are we scoring? And it already happened. Blocker save on Burakovsky. Was I in position? No, not really at all. But the fact remains that the puck did not end up in the net. He's back again with vengeance. He's gonna go for a pass. Oh no, he's not. Well, he did, kind of. What a mature play from Scott. To smother the puck. Maybe this is be a pro after all. Glove save. And you know what? You're open. No one's on you. Blankenberg, you got time. Headmans it to Johnny, who just does the safe play. So, we came into this period down by two. The boys were buzzing. Patrice kind of forced an own goal. And then we just had the momentum, got another one. We're winning this game. Actually, even if we get it into overtime... No, because then they'll be tied with us in points, and it'll be a row. Barzell was down from the first shot. And whoever that was at the point just slapped another one at him. So that was disrespectful. Maybe Barzell is actually Scott Sterling. If you guys don't know where I got that name from, just look it up on YouTube. Nice try. Sorokin's all over it, though. He did let up those two. But he has been a brick wall ever since. Here's Burra. Gets it to Kuznetsov. Okay. That was closer than I would have liked it to be. They are on one right now. Yes. I don't know why their defenseman just skated right past the puck. But I appreciate you. Nope. I want this game to go to overtime at minimum. Then maybe you can score. 
That was tipped, right? I feel like it was tipped. Oh, it was definitely tipped because Pelik shot it and Burakovsky was celebrating, I believe. Yeah, I would have had it. So it was just a good tip. Fair play. 23 seconds. You've already gotten two. What's one more? That's not a good way to start. Yeah, I'm ready, coach. Just say the word. Or don't. That works too. I don't get it. Sometimes they pull me. Sometimes they don't. That is so heartbreaking. We tied it up, and then they got one at the end there. Brutal. Another divisional game. And again, our division is looking strong. Can we take a dub over New Jersey? No, we cannot. We take a regulation L. Not exactly what I'm looking for. All right, fair enough. We did let up five goals on like 36 shots. You can bench me. Understandable. Are we only playing good teams? Like, where's my 31s and 32s at? Let's see what Calgary has in store for us. They didn't score on the first shot. They did score on the second one. But hey, we got that crucial first save. So I already like the way this is going. Yes, Patrice! I feel like he's going to end up with the most points. Same with this, I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Chinikov, perhaps? He has been an animal. Power play five on three for Calgary and they can't score. Let's go. That's huge. Another one. Archibald gives us the cushion. It is a two goal lead. And hopefully we can keep that going into the third. All right. We will jump into this one and try not to absolutely blow up our team's success. So Calgary has also made some moves. They've got Nylander. They have Shane Wright. They still have Huberdeau. Don't know who their goalie is, but we're going to find out in a minute. And maybe I'll go. No promises. But I'm just saying there's a chance. Oh, they won the draw clean. Where is it? Find it. Whoa! That just narrowly missed the net. Can't tell if that one got tipped or not. I feel like that was just a clean shot through. And Johnny Coutreau gets leveled. We're just going to let that happen. All right, never mind. We're not just going to let that happen because... Johnson just took a run at somebody. Was gonna fight, but didn't. I respect it. Probably out of your weight class there, Damon. I think you could have taken him. It is impossible for me to see these jerseys and not think of Rick Nash. Literally impossible. Bennett is in. All right. Good shot. That two goal lead became a one goal lead real fast. So hopefully the lads can go get another one here and we can restore the lead that we once had. Four on four action is done. We are at even strength. I feel like the goal, is there a way to make myself move faster without doing the aggressive slides? That scared me. There's a good chance Bennett passed it in front. And there's another one that was tipped. Reach behind. Attaboy, Scott. Nope, not today. A clean glove save from a clean point shot. Oh, he wants 2.0? No. Not going to happen. I really am trying to think of how I want to attack this franchise via Pro Series combination that I was talking about before. I want to try and make it so that it's really interactive and, you know, we sort of have like a system going that is outside the game. Obviously, I do want to start it eventually. I'm not sure when I want to start it. It's a tie hockey game. Shane Wright just ripped one past me. This third period has not been kind to Scott so far. And the two goals that went in, they weren't even, you know, like crazy one-timers or breakaway dekes, anything like that. They were just shots. So... Need to step our game up here, and hopefully we can shut them down for the next seven minutes. I should not have made that save. Like, there's no way on planet Earth that should not have gone in the net. Here they come again. Mm. Absolutely pathetic. I can't believe you've done this. Just pull me. Get me out of here. This is a time where if the whole beach ball 
thing came into the equation, I'd be like, yeah, you know what? You're right. I cannot save a beach ball right now. So, if the coach is ever going to play that card, now is the time. What's going on? Oh, we just hurt Nylander. All right, that's huge. And we got a little Tilly going. I'm going to try to fight as well. Can't lie to you. So, here we go. Willie is in some pain. Huberto and whoever 5'9 are just chilling. All right, their goalie's not going to go me. What about you? You want to go? Huh? No? Yeah, I don't blame you. I wouldn't go me either. And we lost the fight. Just a horrific third period from Columbus. He's going to score, isn't he? Somehow, some way. We almost just pulled it into the net. Nice save by Wolf. He's been solid. Very solid here. Two minutes to go. Yeah. It is what it is sometimes. I do not think the coach is going to pull me. We are in it to win it. I don't like how even that almost went in. Like, was my positioning bad even there? It didn't feel like it was, but maybe I'm too far over to the one side. Not sure. Alrighty. So let's forget about that one. Because that was just terrible. A trade point for me? Anaheim. Our former squadron. Let's see how this one goes. They are 22-11-2. Fifth in the league. It'd be real nice to beat them. Can't lie to you. Yes, we killed it off. And we score. What do I say? This guy is an absolute legend. Zegris buries one on Scotty, though. That's not fair. He knows my weakness, and that is... Basically everywhere. Just take a shot. 1-1 one, one after 1. We are doubling them in shots, however. Let's go, Columbus. This is a big game for me. We need a dub here. It is mandatory. It is a requirement that we win this hockey game. Still out shooting them drastically. So it's not from lack of trying, but Gibson's probably like, hey, remember when I was your backup? Check this out. All right, this is prime. If we get calgary I may implode. All right, last game wasn't a thing. Doesn't count. Can't count it. We are here. Clean slate. It is 1-1 hockey with one period remaining. And again, the stakes are huge in this one because it is the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. What am I doing? Like, literally, just honestly, what am I doing? It's not even Gibson in net, it's Ingram. My goalie just feels so small. Like, I feel like I cover none of the net for some reason. Well, now we're down by one. Looking uphill. And hopefully we climb. Close. You know, we're starting to climb, I guess you could say. That probably would have gone in. I don't I just feel like every shot right now is going in. Nice. Take out the defender. The simulation started so strong. Our first game we went into played very well. And now I am Swiss fromage. That one I would partially like to blame the defense. Because how did that happen? There's just a guy wide open for the pass. I was challenging the shooter, as I have been instructed to do. I'm actually angry. Like, this is really getting on my nerves. It doesn't happen too often, you know, but right now, I'm there. This team better do something at the trade deadline. Anything. And by anything, I don't mean sell. All right, we got rid of Zach Wierenski last year for whatever reason. No, we need to get assets. We're a good team. We're doing well. We need to do Weller. Tarasenko took a boarding call. So if we're gonna get back in the game, now is the time. What do you mean no goal? What do you mean? On what planet is this not a goal? He passed it out. He donated the puck to Johnny Goudreau. And you're gonna call that no goal. Oh my, I just give up. Wow, I saved something. Almost got scored on though, still. By a nice number. There we go, look at this. Who would have thought Scott could make saves? Not me. I would like to point out that those chances they just got were shorthanded. 
Yes. So close! Just barely missed the net. Ingram was on a different continent. And we just couldn't get it done. 2.40 to go. Time is running out. I have a feeling that our team is going to do nothing at the trade deadline. I don't know why. But I just feel like that's going to be the case. What a goal by that guy again. What a machine. No, the stick break. Wasn't meant to be. Disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful. Calendar time. 92 overall, Scott Sterling just got deleted. Two games in a row. No, no meetings, please, Johnny. Don't do this to me. 3 0 win over New Jersey, and then a 3 1 win over the Rangers. That's probably the backup goalie in, gonna be honest. Yep, here we go. Just collapsing, as we do. Amazing. Why can't I request a trade? Why is that not an option? We always come out of the gate so strong, get my hopes up, and then proceed to have a monumental collapse. All right. This is looking good. Lost to the Preds. Big win over the Canucks. Okay. Let him cook. I hired a fancy new chef. This is news to me. Don't lose these next two. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yes, we won these next two. Our division, still competitive. Very competitive. This is our team. Basically exactly what we saw at the start of the video. Yep, nothing's changed there. And of course, it's still going to be Scott with Joel. Trade deadline is here. Will we finally do something? Moment of truth. Sim pass this game against the Capitals and over the trade deadline. And hopefully our team does anything other than sell. Taking a while there. Probably because all the other teams are doing stuff. Washington made a move. There you go. Trade alert. All oh, the Columbus Blue Jackets. What did we get? It was with us. On the day that we played them, I'm expecting to see something new here. And I don't mean a player called up from the AHL because we got a bunch of draft picks. Please. Okay. Okay. Let's go. We grabbed Bjorkstrand. We grabbed Kempe. We grabbed Sagan. We grabbed Matthias somehow. Riddle me that. I think even you should not be demoted. I feel bad for you. You're on fire. Keep it up. What a trade deadline that was. Oh my word. How is this even possible? No wonder the sim was taking forever. We're going to the loss. 1,000%. We just gave up every draft pick in the world, most likely. Holy crap, that fires me up. I'm ready to go now. This team is in win mode. We got the 31st place Tampa Bay Lightning. So at the start of next video, we better just pound them. Right now, we are in a wild card spot, fifth in the Metro. We are two points behind the Pittsburgh Penguins, six points behind the Philadelphia Flyers, and we have the same amount of games, so... That's not great. 14th in the entire league at the moment. Yeah, this is still very doable. Johnny Goudreau leading the charge with 59 points. Ken Johnson, 52. Patrice, the legend. And then Kempe has 50 as well. Played 64 games, but doesn't matter. This is my guy. Bjorkstrand, 45 points. Sagan, Marchenko, 42. What about Matthias? 39? That's okay. Philip Ronick. That trade deadline was basically a fantasy draft. Like, we have a totally new team. Scotty's got a 906 save percentage, a 310 GAA. Let's quickly check out our defenseman, and then we will go look at the whole league. All right, so that was massive. Dustin Wolf currently leading the league with 32 wins. He only has a 904, though, so them be some Scott numbers. Jakey O, 29 wins, 277 GAA. Igor Shosturkin, just shy of a 920, somehow landed on Nashville. Montour is your defensive leader at the moment by 11 points, so he is up there. He also has two games at hand on Kale McCarr, who is behind him. A plus 43? Pardon? Oh, well, he's got McDavid on his team, so that checks out. Bedard, 79 points in 64 games. He's doing unbelievable. But yeah, McDavid leading the league right now, tied with Pasta, but he has five less games played, so... I would say that McDavid is leading. Ranton in nine game winning goals and a 21.1 shooting percentage. Not a big deal. I guess Bedsy has a 21.4. All right, well, there you go. Our GM did something. Our team is looking spicy. I like it. And I'm ready to go. This is going to be one incredible playoff push. Thank you for watching as always. If you could leave a like and subscribe, that would be tremendously appreciated. And I will see you soon.